laugh because people, you know, we have all these stereotypes that we think of when we were growing up, like how the old folks used to say how time flies and, you know, you never know until after you get there what it's like or the fact that the greatest revenge for a parent is to see their children grow up because they become just like the parent <laughs> and the grandchildren, you know, and all that stuff. But, you know, there's a certain amount of <clears throat> reality to that that's kind of humorous because I find myself balancing the two, you know, like there's some days where when I have a lot that I want to get done and God doesn't want me to get a lot done, you know, but sometimes I get distracted. Then I watch time just go poof and it's almost as though I just woke up and bingo, I just got done and the day has gone by and the sun's setting and did I get everything done I wanted to do, you know, and I, I look at the day and I think, oh man, I want to do more. So I try to do more and I stay up till midnight or later and work on things and don't manage to get it done or do and then the next morning I'm trying to finish it or complete it and then I watch the day kind of go and it's like, wait a minute, who pushed the fast forward button? And then other days when I trust in the Lord, when I just, hi, good to see you Lord, thank you Jesus for another day, boy, it's kind of kind of nice out here and I relax and take it easy then it's as though the clock just goes and all of a sudden it's almost as though I step out of time or I slow down time kind of like what Joshua did when he asked God to you know slow down the sun or to set it back I don't know if you know this but you can do that that if you're in God's will that time can slow down for you even though for everyone else it may be going faster it's kind of a I don't want to get into quantum physics, but it's a process of relativity of interrelational dynamics that depending upon where you are and how you are, that God can cause things to move quicker or slower of the circumstantial references points dependent upon how you're related to them. <laughs> Which is really a kind of neat sci-fi idea if you think of it in your mind and you go, ooh, cool, you know, and you start shifting the dimensional realities. And the Bible actually <laughs> explains it a little simpler than that, but we can make a scientific principle out of it pretty easily. So don't think that it's far-fetched that sometimes time flies when you're having fun, or sometimes time slows down when you're spending it with the Lord. But either way, you know, time is in God's hands, and He has the number of your days numbered. He has the days of your life numbered. And every one of them should be spent in moments and inspirational to him in the way of relating to him in a personal way, in a devotional way, in a fully emotive way that you can enjoy the full spectrum of what it's like to be alive, to be living, to be existing in this time when we see the end of the world come upon the creation as it groans and travail waiting for us who are children of God to be revealed because God is going to unveil those that are his and when he does angels in heaven and all created beings will rejoice in that day for the work that God has done in making you and I stand as lights in the heavens today pray for one another that you may be healed Abraham answered and said behold now I have taken upon me to speak unto the Lord which am but dust and ashes peradventure there shall lack five of the fifty righteous will you destroy all of the city for lack of five and he said if I find there are forty and five I will not destroy it father forgive them for they know not what they do pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you I pray for them I pray not for the world but for them which thou hast given me <coughs> for they are thine neither pray I for these alone but for them also which shall believe on me through their word Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Elijah was a man subject to like passions as we are, and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain, and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. You know, prayer, I always like to tell people, is conversation, and so it is. Prayer is directive, and so that's often called petition, because when you're directing it rather than receiving it, then you're not having conversation, you're having petition. So there's 
petitional prayer where it's kind of like you're just throwing things out there, you know, without really waiting for the response. But if you're having a conversation with God, it's prayer becomes real. Because then you expect, you ask, you seek, but you listen for the answer. You wait to see if God would speak to you. And that's what prayer was meant to be, because he doesn't... <clears throat> Jesus, when he prayed out loud, he said, look, God, I'm not praying for my sake. I know you hear me. I know you answer me. I know you do all these things. He said, I'm praying for those who can't hear you, who don't know, who haven't realized that you are relational, that you have a personal ability to hear everything I even think, much less say. So <clears throat> I don't pray it out loud only for myself, but for those that are listening. And you need to realize that, that God can hear, see, speak, and relate to you just like a human being does. As a matter of fact, case you didn't know, he does it a whole lot better than human beings, because <laughs> he loves you. And he really will open up the doors of heaven and shine down, but much more than that, he will speak to you if you're willing to listen. <clears throat> as for man, his days are as grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes over it and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. What shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Surely the people is grass, the grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of the Lord shall stand forever. The world passes away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of God abides forever. Behold, now is the except, except Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Use this world as not abusing it, for the fashion of this world passes away. Let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, not forsaking the assembling together of ourselves, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as we see the day approaching. <clears throat> you know, it's so easy to get distracted into the attractions of the world rather than recognize that the emotions that we're putting into and investing, say, on the internet or into other things that aren't going to last, sometimes will burn us out from the point that God wants us to be about His will, choosing to abide in His presence. Sometimes God doesn't necessarily want you to go out to be a missionary in Africa or a, a evangelist down the street or a witness, you know, at work. That was kind of neat. i got to think about that later on. Let's see. Uh, uh, missionary in Africa, evangelist. It's kind of neat the way those three went together. But he wants you to be a person who cares and loves him. Sometimes God wants to talk to you. Sometimes God wants to be with you. Sometimes, you know, you want maybe not to be with him, but he wants to be with you. So take your moments and make them precious. Don't always go after what you can see, touch, and feel and think that the world is about. But sometimes go into that other place, that realization, not just in worship, but in quiet reflection, even meditation. Oh my God, that foreign word, you know, where you think about God. And that's all meditation means, just think about God. Where you think and you just kind of sit back and you let your mind flow and you let your thoughts wander and you just let God fill you. To be still is to let God come in. Try it. See if it works.